Hi there, in this short lecture, we will understand about the folder structure that is essential for admins uh, for getting know and also as well as for the end user to you know know more about their user folder structure. So the best thing would be before you store and organize your own files, it is very important to understand the folder structure that is already offered by Microsoft Windows 11 so that you can work within that structure so that it would be easy to establish that organizing method. So within this folder structure, uh, which is by default, so you might see you know, more uh, folders, but you know, we'll come to later if you see more and you know, what else those and why they are available here. For example, if I just go to the folder options, some of them are hidden state. So for example, if you just choose show hidden files in folders you might see you know some of them more extra if you don't see uh, you know it would be in this don't show hidden files in folders these are operating system specific uh, more critical things that's why it will be in a hidden state okay we'll come to that later point in a different lecture but for now we'll try to understand the existing organized folder structure so if you install any kind of applications for example here microsoft mail this got already uh, got installed by windows 11 by default or such things whatever you see here some of the applications like office these applications when you install these applications will come either any of this folder based on the application if it is a 32 bit or 64 bit so all the 64 bit will come directly to program files are native 64 and 32 bit it's nothing but the x86 will come up here so if i just open up here i could see here some of those files for example windows mail i can directly even open windows mail directly from here but we don't do that the reason being we would like to open directly from here but in the back end if we just go to app settings uh, in the back end it actually points to that installed application folder all right and uh, and if i go back to windows as a c folder c drive then you could see here there's something called windows folder this is a core folder which consists of all the operating system specific core files this is uh, this this also gets installed or will get created when you install windows 11 operating system and the other important folder would be the users so when you talk about the users the user accounts that are used to log in here will represent at least one folder here so you see here my current user account so if you want to find out what is that user account uh, just click on start button with a right click go to command called run and type cmd who am i then it will represent the computer name followed by the username so in this case my user account name b power and then if i just open up this this has a really organized structure you could see for example it what it does is it it actually gives an option for us to store all the video files just inside of this videos and similarly all the documents should store within this and also your favorites that's a favorites from your uh, chrome browser get stored here and also or you also have the downloads so you have here quick access from the downloads desktop documents pictures music videos all of these actually coming from this pc c drive and then users with respect to the user and then all of these are actually representing for example music to music videos to videos and downloads to downloads and documents to documents and there is another folder called OneDrive. If you if you notice this folder, this is nothing but uh, your OneDrive, which is offered by Microsoft as a service, where you would actually uh, consist here also the very similar documents and downloads and all of that stuff. So we would discuss these things in the upcoming lectures. But just to let you know that these are the folder redirections, so that 
uh, OneDrive will save all the information that you're gonna save it on your desktop for example I just created a folder this folder gets actually you no know, syncing uh, to direct to the OneDrive so if I just click on desktop the folder gets synced up so this way I'm actually saving all the relevant data of end users so we would talk on this in a different lecture but just to understand that um, the core takeout of this lecture would be so you have a critical folders uh, normally these are the default folder structure that you could see on any of the machine and coming back to the users uh, folder this is where each user consists of their own user account or alias ID and which will consist of similar folders but the content is personal meaning let's say if there is an, a, a user called Chris so Chris user account is different from Pavan account right so both cannot log in each and they cannot uh, see the files also because it's fully protected by Windows uh, by securing all the folders and files within that system even though it's on the same system they will not be able to access this unless they both are the system admin privileges have on that machine which is the case with only Windows administrator that being said, I strongly encourage you to work with existing structure. This helps you stay organized and keeps your files tied to your user account.